If you had $35 to spend at JetPens, what would you get? We asked this question to our very own JetPens team. Here's what we would get and why. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If you want to see a part two, let us know in the comments below. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Jen. I run the JetPen social media accounts. I like drawing and incorporating art in my journaling in my free time. If I had $35 to spend at JetPens, I'd focus on markers with unique colors or features that can work as sketching, coloring, or journaling supplies in one. First, I'd make sure to get the iconic two-way marker pens in retro colors. Although they can be used as highlighters, the fine tips are actually great for sketching. I like how subdued the colors are, and since they're markers, you can draw over your lines to darken them. If you want to color things in, just flip to the chisel tip side. I'd also get the Livework Twin Pen Vintage Pen Set, for similar reasons. Although these markers have a different color on each end, so you get 10 hues. The colors are soft, but still vivid. Next, I'd add a pack of Zebra Kira Rich Glitter Highlighters. I'm a sucker for anything sparkly, and these highlighters are super shimmery. They're perfect for adding a final touch to art pieces. Although I usually use markers or pens for art, I still want to be able to erase my sketch layer sometimes. The Pilot Color Eno Erasable Mechanical Pencil in soft blue is great for making base sketches that don't look too messy. For erasing, I'll make sure to get a Sakura Arch Foam Eraser 60. I like its compact size, and it erases cleanly without much pressure. I also use stickers and gel pens to decorate my journal. I love the gradient aesthetic of Livework stickers, and since the sheets alternate the gradient direction, you can get two colors of each letter. The stickers last for a while if you just use them to make headers. If I decide to write out headers, I'll want a glitter pen, like the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Gel Pen in Violet and Metallic Blue. The Hybrid Dual Metallic has a broad 1.0 millimeter tip, and it's pretty juicy, so you won't end up scratching at your paper trying to emulate broad strokes. Unlike some of my coworkers, I'm not good at brush lettering, so I just do faux calligraphy. I actually learned how to do faux calligraphy through one of our old guides, so check out our faux calligraphy basics video if you want to learn too. Hi everyone, I'm Connie, a writer at JetPens. I'm a fountain pen enthusiast who loves journaling and sending snail mail. For my bundle, I picked things that I would use for letter writing. Let's start with the writing instrument first. I went with the Preppy because it's affordable and easy to use. It comes with a cartridge, but you can upgrade it with a converter later if you want to try and use bottled inks. Tomoe River paper is my favorite paper to use with fountain pens, so of course I had to add a pack. It's super smooth and ink resistant. Depending on how much you mind show through, you can use the other side of the sheet too. It's always fun to decorate letters and make them more personal, so I added stickers like the MU Print on Transfer stickers and Bondi Washi Tape stickers to decorate with. You'll need envelopes to mail your letter, and I think Life Airmail envelopes are so charming. They have a fun retro-inspired design that stands out from plain white envelopes. They have self-adhesive flaps, but I like to put a piece of washi tape on top for extra flair. Empty washi tapes work really well for this. Finally, I feel like every piece of snail mail should get a little hand lettering. The Tombo Furenosuke has a small brush tip that's easy to control yet capable of some really nice line variation. Its ink is also waterproof, so it should survive any bad weather to make it to your pen pal. Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie. I'm also a fountain pen enthusiast, and for my bundle, I chose items for journaling. Since Connie recommended the Platinum Preppy, I decided to go with the Pilot Petite One, which is a pocketable mini fountain pen that, when posted, is comfortable to hold in the hand. It comes with a cartridge, but I like having the option of using any fountain pen ink after it's used up, so I included the JetPen's ink syringe and Aubin's Verdigris ink. I love inks where you can't quite place what exact color it is, and Verdigris fits the bill as a greenish, grayish, tealish shade. Check out our guide on how to refill an ink cartridge with a syringe if you'd like to learn more on how to do that. For the journal itself, I went with the Grid Midori MD Notebook Lite Pack of 3. 
I'm someone who keeps different notebooks for different reasons, so I would dedicate the first notebook for daily journaling, the second for brush lettering and penmanship practice, and the third as a catch-all for any doodling or creative inspiration that strikes. Alternatively, you could dedicate one to documenting a trip, reviewing any media like movies or music you like, or use them all for journaling, whatever your heart desires. The notebooks are filled with iconic MD paper, which is suitable for any kind of writing utensil, and come with label stickers and index tabs. Of course, I had to have some items for decorating pages. First up is the Marks Maste Writable Washi Tape. I'm a fan of anything that's Japanese cafe themed. Anytime I see stationery with melon soda on it, I feel compelled to have it. You can imagine how hard it's been for me with the releases of the 2023 Hobonichi Weeks Cafe and Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebook Accessories. And by the way, this is mine. These washi tapes are perforated, so there's no need to get out a ruler or scissors to get a clean cut. I added in the Uni Pin Pen for writing titles on the washi tape, but also for drawing. I like the look of sketches done first with fountain pen ink and black line work over top, and the Pin Pen provides an excellent saturated line. Finally, I added some writing instruments that would provide some flair. The Pentel Food I Touch Brush Sign Pen uses a felt tip and is great for beginner and expert calligraphers alike. For a little glitz, I finished this bundle off with a Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Gel Pen. This line has unique ink and metallic sparkle color combos that pop off the page. I love how they write so smoothly. It makes me want to cover the whole page in shimmery goodness. Hi everyone, I'm Miriam. And I have a confession to make. I'm not as into stationery as my coworkers are. I know, it's blasphemy. Um, I'm actually pretty minimalist when it comes to buying stuff because I'm a recovering shopaholic. And I hate to waste, so I only buy something if I know I'm going to use it regularly. If I had $35 to spend at JetPens, here's what I would get. I love animal themed items. Um, you can see these are previously purchased things from JetPens. And I haven't gotten my planner for 2023 yet, so I would go with a Midori Slim Pocket Diary. It's a monthly planner, which is my preferred layout because my life is not that exciting. I love how slim it is, so it'll fit in whatever bag I choose to carry. Bonus points that it's cute! Currently, I use a uni style fit for writing in my planner, but as you can see, the ink is running low. I also carry around a uni jet stream with me for signing receipts and things like that. So I've been eyeing the customizable Uni Style Fit 3. I already know I like the gel pen refills, which use Signo ink, by the way, and the ballpoint refills, which actually use Jetstream ink. I just haven't bit the bullet yet on getting this whole thing because I don't know what I would get in the third slot. Maybe another gel pen color since they run out so much faster than the ballpoint refills. But yeah, I'm not sure. So just put a random gel pen refill here. Last on my wish list is a bigger ticket item, the High Tide Nea packing pouch. So I own a lot of bags from my shopaholic days and I'm forever forgetting things like my keys, cards, cash, lip balm, the list goes on. I really like the idea of a bag in bag, basically an organizer you can move from one bag to another, but I wanted something cuter and this fits the bill. I think it'll really help me not to forget things. Fingers crossed. I was actually debating between the packing pouch and the general purpose case because the planner, as small as it is, fits awkwardly in the packing pouch. However, my essentials like my keys, makeup, mini scissors are too bulky to fit in a flatter pouch, so this fits better for my needs. Whose stationary bundle did you like best? What would you buy instead? Tell us in the comments. All the products are linked below in the description and at jetpens.com. Remember, if your order is $35 or more on our site, you can get free shipping in the USA. If you're just short of $35, we have a hit free shipping collection of small items to help you hit the mark. Thanks for watching.